Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily Pepe update. Um, I hope you're doing great because Pepe certainly isn't uh, after the news yesterday that we got that the SEC sues crypto exchange Binance and their CEO, uh, as we all know, CZ. That happened, caused a, a relatively mild crash in the markets. And I'm saying that because it's it's not that big of a crash. Most, well, some cryptos actually dropped down fairly hard, but for example, Bitcoin uh, just moved down like less than four percent, which is actually pretty decent. It's uh, you could even consider that normal market uh, normal market behavior, right? So that's um, there was a little bit of a crash. I mean, Pepe, for example, fell down yesterday about let's say if we can actually see that. A maximum of 20 percent so that's quite a bit but we have recovered since then but that does mean that the the levels we talked about in the video yesterday are actually getting closer and yesterday i told you some levels where i would be buying pepe perhaps it wasn't um, it wasn't 100 yet but there is a level coming up and that's also obviously not 100 trading in crypto always depends on circumstances in the markets as well but it is for me it's it's looking like um it's, it's looking like quite a strong level and especially an interesting level. So we'll talk about that and just in general, I'll, I'll try to give you as much of a, a thorough overview on Pepe. Before we get into that, by the way, if you want to receive daily trading signals by me and make some profits, even when the markets are uh, trending down, then make sure to check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. We've been making a lot of profits in the last weeks and last months. So if you want to join that, become a better trader and investor, then check out those links. But now if we take a look at Pepe, so the two levels we talked about yesterday was this level right here at 10,500 and this level right here, which I'm, I'm not sure how to define yet because it, it's, it, it's around 8,500. So this 8,500 on, on coin market cap, by the way, that's 850 right here at the end. So those were the two levels we talked about. The first one we broke down below, I'm not sure in one hour time frame. Yeah, on the one hour time frame, we did not even respect that either, right? I mean, in the end, news and fundamentals like these are always more, more important than the technicals. But all right, so we had that bearish breakout. I would say that there is a small chance that we can recover that level. Like, for example, if Bitcoin right now actually regains some strength and breaks above 26,000, which is a possibility. It's not the most likely scenario in my eyes. It's a possibility, but then Pepe can follow that due to correlation, break above 10,500 and actually consolidate up here a little bit, which um, I would say this is like a 25, 30% chance of happening. It's short term bullish, but long term, we're still, I would argue with Pepe, we're still bearish very much. And I actually think it's more likely that we will not be able to do that and that we might consolidate a little bit in this area. But that is just a matter of time before we start to drop down towards this level right here, around 8,500. Now that's a level which I think is very interesting. First of all, I mean, technically, if you if you take a look at that on the one hour time frame, you can see that it's a significant support, especially around 83 and 8,400. But then apart from that, it also, if you, if you, if you would trade it, there's also around 7,500, which is just below the level. There's also a big psychological support level. So altogether, if, if, you, if you add it up, there's quite a lot of reasons why it could be a, a good... <laughs> it, there's quite a lot of reasons why it could be a good idea to go long there. There's nothing else supporting it. But sometimes, I mean, when there's nothing else supporting it, and there's just not that much price action history, right? There's not that much you can put on the chart. So sometimes those two things together a key level that's been respected and a psychological level can already be enough. So that's a level I'm considering buying at. It's not 100% sure yet. I mean, if Bitcoin starts crashing again, I probably won't buy. I need at least a little bit stable market circumstances, but I will keep you updated on that. So that's my take on Pepe for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.